what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, uh, cut down some of this baboon, thin it out. We ain't gonna cut it all out. It needs to be thinned anyway because it, it, it spreads pretty bad. But we'll take these uh, giant baboon, and we'll cut it up probably in <clears throat> five to six foot strips. And then that'll be our stakes that we drive down in the down into the water. We got a uh, interesting little stake driver that I, I found on the internet how to make. It's a three inch piece of tubing. I drilled me some holes in it so it wouldn't catch the water. Now this here is probably about, I think I made this in here 26 or 28 inches. Come up with a, uh, a coupling that goes on top of it and reduced it down to an inch and three quarter PVC pipe. Now you can screw, this, screw it in and uh, take it apart if you want to. And then we put the, the fittings on the end. We can add a pipe to it if we want to get in deeper water. But it's a real handy little deal. You can you can uh, make your own for a little bit of nothing. It floats if it falls in the water. But what we're going to do is just take our stakes. And then we cut these about six foot tall, a little bit over. And we're just going to try to get in here and then start driving them into the ground. Now, I got the boat on spot lock, which is a real, it really helps out a lot if you're doing something like this, because we're just going to put them all around the boat here. Uh, the boat will move a little bit every time we do it, so we're just going to end up with the servo of them around it. You can feel it. When you first start driving them, when I first start driving them, it's a little bit hard. It gets real soft, but don't stop right there. Just keep driving them and drive them four downs until you can't drive them no more because they need to really get stuck down in the ground. These little rings on it will help hold it the deeper you get it into the ground. It shouldn't be about that much of the stake sticking up out of the bottom of the water there. That's all the fish feed. And what we usually do is put about, I don't know, 20 to 30 out at each spot. Uh, we'll, we'll just go all the way around the boat, putting them, just driving them all the way around. Uh, this makes makes a pretty big stake bed, and then you can just come back and you fish it like fish. I love it to death. Uh, that's a handy little old deal. That's something that you might think about doing if you, uh, I know a lot of folks don't like to put concrete or plastic buckets or something like that in the lake this is a great alternate to it you're just taking a natural made uh you can take a wooden stick or you can just take a bamboo cut it up in certain lengths you make them as long as you want to and just drive them into the bottom of the lake ain't nothing you ain't really like throwing no no kind of chemicals or nothing in it that might possibly cause something later on down the road and the fish are all benefit from it. If you never come back and fish, it, it'll, it'll, it'll help it out. All right, I guess that's gonna do it today. As always, thanks for watching Jeff Literal Outdoors. And uh, if you hadn't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and follow us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.